BBM is in the house. Yay! Yay! Thank you, thank you. Okay, umo o siya sa atin, take note, hindi siya mahirap imbitahin. <laughs> so what is your response to the question that you are, or if you are your father's son? Well, of course, I'm of course father's you are your father's son. son. But I think what they mean is how much of a president that he was, will you be? Hindi ko siya gagayahin. How do you respond to that? Pag naririnig mo yung diktador, dating diktador, ikaw ba'y diktador? Why should the Filipinos vote for BBM? What are the best things about a BBM presidency? It will be inclusive. It will be constantly in search of excellence. And we will bring a wealth of experience and talent to government. So do you have troll farms? People keep saying that. <laughs> they love to say that. <laughs> troll farms, troll yeah. farms. Marami silang troll. Find me one. That's my challenge. Hanapan mo ako kahit isa na troll. Nakita niyo naman yung sa, yung sa Facebook. Ako lang ang walang gasto sa Facebook kahit, kahit uh, isang sentimo. I don't do that. So to what would you attribute the numbers, the good numbers in the surveys? It's hard to generalize, I suppose. Uh, but uh, again, it is because I think the message that we are putting across, that of uh, unity, eh, kinikilala naman ng mga, ng mga Pilipino na yun talaga ang kailangan. Kung ayaw mo sa akin, hindi tumulong ka ng sarili mo. Pero tum magtulungan na tayo, magkaisa na tayo. At hindi tayo magsindi ko sinasabi magkaisa sa politika. Sinasabi, magkaisa tayo, pagsundu, pagkasunduan natin na tayo'y Pilipino. Wala nang tutulong sa Pilipino, kundi Pilipino rin. At ang pag-uusapan ng pagkakaisa, you have mouth unity. How do you intend for that to happen? Anong uri ng mga tao at an anong kulay ng mga tao ang papaligid sa inyo, sa inyong pamamahala? Yung magagaling. Yun lang. <laughs> Yung magagaling. Regardless of color. Bas, kasi pag sinasabi mo, hindi kayo pwede, us or them na naman dito. Ah, dito kami-kami lang. Eh, doon sila, sila, hindi, hindi sila pwede. Ano yun? Hindi naman, hindi naman, walang mangyayari sa atin. Lahat ng tao, siguro dahil sa pandemya sa buong mundo, ay nangangailangan ng tulong. Lahat. You can imagine working with former yellow people? Well, depends who they are. Are they smart? Are they good? Are they hardworking? Are they willing to help? Sure. Kapag kayo po'y palaring manalo, kayo po'y manunumpa sa Saligang Batas uh, ng 1987, and it has been described as a response uh, to what was seen as the excesses of the former constitution of 1973 under your father's administration. So, manunumpa po kayo sa kasalukuyang sa Ligang Batas. Kayo po ba ay for charter change? Papalitan niyo po ba ang ilang probisyon sa, sa Ligang Batas na pangkasalukuyan? Maraming pinag-uusapan, yung tinatawag na economic provisions, uh, even the political system, uh, marami, marami na rin pagbabago. Pwede naman siguro natin pag-usapan, pero I don't see it as being a priority. We have this pandemic to deal with. We have this economy that we have to, uh, we have to, rec we have to recover. Hindi na siguro aabot sa charter change. Uh, kung ba, who knows? Baka magkaroon ng, magkaroon ng groundswell. Pero ang groundswell talaga, trabaho, trabaho, trabaho. So probably, but not a priority? Not probably, not a priority. Okay. So what is your response to the question that you are, or if you are your father's son? Well, of course I'm my Of course you are your father's son. <laughs> but I think what they mean is, how much of a president that he was will you be? Uh, my father was elected in 1965. 
That's a long time ago. Ibang-iba na ang Pilipinas. Ibang-iba na ang mundo. Uh, hindi mo naman pwede sabihin, ay, maganda yung ginawa niya noong 1965, gawin din natin yun. Hindi na, hindi na bagay, hindi na relevant. Hindi ko siya gagayahin. Meron siya, maybe in concept, uh, like the vertical integration of the entire agricultural system down to the retail. Yun. That concept, gagayahin natin. We'll do it a different way. Infrastructure, gagayahin natin. Na, lahat naman ng presidente, ginawa yan eh. Kailangan talaga infrastructure. Kulang lagi ang infrastructure. Yung, the concept. But we want, hindi, hindi yung gagayahin mo lang yung ginawa dati. It's just a different world. Do you ever think martial law will happen again? I hope not because uh, martial law implies that we are at war. Uh, so, wag na, sana, sana hindi na tayo papasok sa gera. So, diktador. How do you respond to that? Pag naririnig mo yung diktador, dating diktador, ikaw ba'y diktador? Siyempre, <laughs> uh, eh, ang mga nagsasabi nun, yung galit sa tatay ko. So, tinatawag siyang ganun. Uh, so, again, politika yan eh. Maliit pa kami, naintindihan na namin yun eh. Lahat yan, lahat ng gawin mo sa politika, may magbabati ko sa'yo. Dahil gusto nila, siyang nakaupo dyan eh, hindi ikaw. Kaya uh, sisiraan ka para ilalagay ka doon kung ano-ano pinagsasabi. Ah, ganun. So, very young. Very, I remember I was very young. Media censorship. What are your thoughts? I don't find uh, any reason for uh, what, what you would call censorship. Well, you can't anymore because there's online everywhere. <laughs> yeah, but the, I was just going to say, maybe in the online, this, the, yung, the, yung pagkalat ng fake news. And some of it's dangerous. Uh, so that, that I think we have to do something, but it's not easy. Yeah, yung mga, but you yung, believe that these troll farms are doing fake news. You have to get to the masterminds of all of those. What's more important to, than that is a paliwanag mo sa tao na hindi totoo yan. Vaccines work. Masks work. Stop telling us that they don't because you're wrong and it's dangerous for you to be doing that. That's my simple example. The whole nature of the internet is it's open. Open source, tawag nila. So, hindi mo naman pwedeng pigilan where do, you, where do you draw the line. That's what we're wrestling with now. This is going to be my last father question. What was the best thing that your father did and what was his worst mistake? Do you ever think about it? The, the, the best thing I still believe, marami siyang ginawa. Nakilala ang Pilipinas. But for me, the most important thing that he achieved was to bring a sense of nationhood to our country. For the first time, yata, yata, para sa akin, maybe during the war, you know, World War II, nag, yeah, sinasabi, Pilipino ako. At pinagmamalaki yung pagka-Pilipino niya. Uh, dahil marami yung sa sasabihin, pasinggaling lang kami sa inyo. We are as good as any of you. And in, my, in many cases, we're better. Uh, yung pride to being a Filipino and that we are one nation and that we must work together to succeed. And that, I think, was his most important achievement. The worst mistake as he did was probably trusting some of the wrong people. Uh, and that is uh, something that you, <laughs> I find, I tell myself, you better be more careful uh, and don't let that happen again. I'm sure we'll make mistakes down the road, but uh, that's something I'm conscious about. What are the kind of people you will trust as a leader? Those who have a record of, uh, of public service. You mean in government? Yes. Yeah. To avoid the mistakes, as you said, of your well, father, in trusting the, the wrong people. People who have, who have a good record, that uh, are, uh, are, um, are at the heart, are public servants. Those are the people that you trust because they'll never stop working for the people. And that's what's important. And uh, they, won't, they won't indulge in this petty politics or office, office politics, all that kind of thing. Uh, hindi na didistract dun sa trabaho nila. Yun, pam, yung reliable maasahan mo. Yun, you can trust those people. Okay, so let's go to the present. 
What is the best accomplishment of the Duterte administration and what is its worst mistake? I think the, uh, the build, build, build was, was a very, very, is still a very, very good idea. Infrastructure development is, should still be a central part of any development program of uh, any country for that matter. But certainly for the Philippines, because we're far away from what we want to do with the level of infrastructure development. Uh, so that's that, that what they started, what the President Duterte started, I think, was he went down the right road when it came to that. Uh, the Worst mistake. Perhaps, maybe the same as my father. He trusted some of the wrong people. And... Uh, Kung minsan siyang napapasama, kahit wala naman siyang kasalanan. Kasi yung mga tao niya, kung minsan eh, hindi, uh, yung mga na, nandyan sa gobyerno, eh, hindi tumutulong. Hindi tumutulong sa bayan, hindi tumutulong sa kanya. Uh, that's, uh, that I think is... Will uh, you be very different from President Duterte? I suppose so. We're very different people. Uh, I imagine, yeah, sure. I imagine that I will be. Uh, Eh, kilala ko naman siya, matagal ko na siyang kilala. Eh, pagkakilala ko naman sa sarili ko, parang... Uh, uh, hindi ibang kami, ibang personalidad. Hindi, hindi kami magkapareho. Uh, in a good way, maybe. Um, from some of your pronouncements, sa mga naririnig namin, uh, lalo na sa issue ng West Philippine Sea, ang pakiramdam ng iba, you are friendly to China. And so, gusto naming malaman kung ano ang iyong posisyon sa China. Sila ba ay... Kaaway o kaibigan? Kailangan trato natin sa lahat ay kaibigan. Uh, ngunit, hindi naman ako pumapanig sa isa. Pumapanig ako sa, sa uh, Pilipinas. Yan lang naman ako. Dito, dito lang naman akong interesado dito sa Pilipinas. Meron akong nasabi, meron tinanong sa akin kung magpapatulong ako sa mga Amerikano. I interpreted it as sa negotiations with China. Hihingi ka ba ng tulong sa Amerikano para sa negotiations ng China? At ang aking sinagot ay hindi. Dahil the problem is between the Philippines and China. However, uh, it was interpreted as saying, I will not ask help from the, from the United States in general. Mali yun. Hindi totoo yun. Paano ko naman gagawin yun? At napakalalim ng pagkakaibigan ng Pilipinas at saka ng Amerika. Gusto natin, kaibigan natin lahat ng mga karatig bansa natin. China's uh, coastline is 600 kilometers away from the Philippines. So, we have to, we have to, uh, we have to be good neighbors. So, diplomacy, as far as the Philippines, the West Philippine Sea is? Yes, I don't see another way. Wala talagang ibang paraan. The Comelec had said that if you are disqualified after victory, Sara Duterte, if she wins, bilang vice president at mananalo din siya, at kung matuloy ang disqualification, siya ang magiging presidente. Do you think this scenario is possible? Uh, yes, if I am disqualified. Uh, that will be the that will be the transfer of power because when the president for some whatever reason becomes uh, uh, cannot continue with their duties the vice president takes over so it's, that's just 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 our system mm -hmm. are you threatened by the disqualification case against you of course uh, you, you, you cannot you take i take everything seriously i have lawyers who are who are uh, who are mounting my defense and um, so I think they have it well in hand. Ang um, pagkasabi naman sa akin ay malakas naman yung kaso namin. So yeah, we will see what happens next dito sa Comelec. What is your relationship with Sara Duterte? May mga nagsasabi na nagkakanya-kanya kayo. para may sarili siyang diskarte niya. Hindi kayo madalas magkasama. So anong uri ng relasyon ang magkakaroon ng BBM Sara kung pareho kayong palarin? Magkakaposisyon ba siya sa iyong gobyerno? Oh, I... Uh, uh, first of all, hindi ko alam kung paano nila sasabihin, nagsasarili kami. Dahil nung nag-start kami ng umikot, siya lagi yung kasama. Siya lagi, siya lagi yung kasama, si, si Mayor Inday. Uh, she, was always, she was always with me. Eh, ang nangyari lang, natigil yung aming pag-ikot dahil nga sa surge dito sa Omicron. 
at uh, hindi na kami pinaw nag level 3 lahat so we are not allowed to do the, what what we usually do kaya hindi naman masyadong ano hindi na kami masyadong nakakagawa ng sabi namin habang hindi pa nag habang hindi pa bumababa ng level 2 eh, maghanap-hanap na lang tayo kung ano yung pwede natin gawin. Bibigyan mo siya ng kapangyarihan bilang vice-presidente. Kailangan. Magaling si Sarah eh. She's at the very least as smart as her dad, who is a very intelligent person. Uh, so, that would be a waste, I think, of talent kung hindi siya bigyan ng uh, pagkakatao na mag-serve. Mag mag at kung hindi mo kapartido, halimbawa't manalo ka at hindi mo kapartido ang vice-presidente mo, i- Uh, ibabartulina mo rin ba? Ibabang ko? At hindi gagamitin? Basta handang tumulong ako kahit na sino ka. Kahit sino ka, vice president ka man, senador ka man, whatever. Uh, private citizen. Basta gusto mong tumulong, ay halika, sumama ka. Uh, tulungan mo kami. Hindi namin kaya nang nag-iisa ito. Imelda Marcos in World History ha, uh, has a checkered description. What will your wife Lisa's role be in your government? <laughs> I, I I think if you, you well you know my wife. Maliban sa pagpuna sa pawis mo. Ay nako. Pawisan ka. Sinusuklay ang buhok hindi, mo. You, you talk, I don't know who you're talking about. That's not my wife. Kuminsan nga sinasabi niya that you know I really don't like publicity. I really don't like So you sure married the wrong guys <laughs> because I'm in public life. What happened when I was governor? Dumipat kami sa... She couldn't practice. Abogado si Lisa. Pero hindi siya makapractice kasi nasa iloko siya. Highly improper yun. Di ba? Siyempre, lapitan siya ng mga contract contractor para maging magpapalakas. Di ba? Whatever. So hindi siya pwedeng magtawa. Nagturo siya. The other thing she did while she was in Ilocos was to provide free legal services. So meaning she's not going to be a fixture in Malacanang? Of course she'll be a fixture in Malacanang, but she will not be, I do not, knowing her. I'm trying to think, you know, that if, I asked, if I asked her to join the government, baka sampalin ako na. <laughs> okay, faster talk because we're running out of time. Okay, drugs. How do you oh. respond to that? Simple. I took a test and I got a negative result. That's my answer. Are you going to follow through the anti-drug policy of government? Well, the, the problem continues to exist. There is still a, drug, a big drug problem in the Philippines. So we have to continue to work against it. Enforcement only takes you so far. We have to look at the other side of it. We have to look at the prevention side. What is your policy on corruption? The same as everybody. We want to remove it because of its corrosive effect on government and the uh, people on, on, on our society. Um, but we have to do a better job. Why should the Filipinos vote for BBM? What are the best things about a BBM presidency? It will be inclusive. It will be constantly in search of excellence. And we will bring a wealth of experience and talent to government. Yay, palapaka! <laughs> <laughs> so okay, okay. At yan po, narinig na po ninyo ang lahat ng kanyang mga kasagutan. At alam nyo naman po ang aking estilo, hindi po ako nakikipag-awa, hindi po ako nang babarabas at sila'y pinasasalita ko na lamang. Ito po ang mas mahabang bersyon kaysa sa napanood po ninyo sa telebisyon. Kaya sana'y sa loob ng panahong ito ay nakilala nyo siya bilang isang tao tulad natin at bilang isang maaring maging leader ng ating bayan. Remember, you have to study, you have to research. Totoo ba lahat ng kanyang sinabi? Sa inyo na po ang paghuhusga, vote wisely dahil anim na taon po yan para sa ating bayan. So, meron pa po tayong mga ipapalabas sa ating uh, YouTube channel. Alam nyo naman, di lang politika kung ano-ano ang lumalabas dito pati ang ating mga Rated Corina episodes. So, Click on that notification button so that you know when our next episode will be. Like and subscribe and follow. And until our next episode on Rated Karina here in our YouTube channel, for now, bye! The Pampa Kit. Itong Pampa Kit, ang bago nating uh, packaging is meron na siyang bintana. So, hindi nyo na kailangan buksan. Ako, yung mga miron, bubuksan, tatanggalin para makita ko nandiyan ba talaga sa loob lahat ng tatlong products all in one. And, you save 
95 pesos pag bumili kayo ng kit na. Kasi nabibili naman ito ng tingi-tingi. But if you buy the kit, you save almost 100 pesos. Sayang din yan, di ba? So inside, you have facial wash, and then the toner for pH balance, the micellar toner, and the bestseller 15 gram K-Magic Facial Skin Cream. Yan ang iyong beauty routine. Okay? So, ito ang tinatawag nating pampakit.